Merger of Manipal with the Indian Union The merger agreement of Manipal with the Indian Union was signed between the Maharaja of Manipal Shri L. Bodhachandra Singh and Shri V. P. Menon, advisor to the Government of India, Ministry of States on behalf of the Dominion of India on 21 September 1949 at Shillong, in which the Maharaja of Manipal surrendered his territory, titles, authority, rights and privileges, except his personal properties and religious rights, and received a sum of 3 lakh rupees per year. Thus, the sovereignty and independence of Manipal as a country came to an end on the date the Maharaja appended his signature on the historic merger agreement. The total area of Manipal merger agreement covered was the territory of 700 square miles at 26,500 hectares. No merger of the tribal chiefs and the territories. The power and authorities of the tribe chiefs are supreme in the land of the tribes in Manipal. They are the lords of the soil within the territory they occupied, ruled and governed. They collected taxes and levies from the subjects independently. So, the merger agreement signed by the Manipal Maharaja did not cover the territory occupied by the tribal chiefs and the subjects, because the Maharaja of Manipal was not a tribal representative who had authority to act on the behalf and the tribals were not his subjects. At the same time the accession instrument signed on 21 September 1949 did not cover the hill areas which has been a separate entity. The merger of Manipal to India in 1949 testified that all the ruling chiefs and notable native states of British India except the ruling chiefs of the tribals in outer Manipal emerge with India. Extracted from Territorial Rights of Outer Manipal Tribals are documents compiled by All Tribal Students Union Manipal.